Saturday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Link, the Calamity Campaign. We're glad to have you here. Uh, tonight's adventure is going to be eh, eh, maybe five out of ten. Probably <laughs> shitty. I don't know. I uh, didn't put much effort into it. Really don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and bullshit sling this one. Uh, yeah, every other week. Yeah, same as every other week. Not a big deal. Folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff, like these cool shirts or a cool phone oh, case or a duvet or a bathroom mat, we got that shit. Uh, look at it. Buy it. Don't buy it. Doesn't matter to us. Uh, we'd like to thank Pirate Dog Dice for... Of course, Big Red. Uh, Pirate Dog Dice, if you want custom dice, hit them up at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. If your game stinks, which this one, eh, it might. This ain't, honestly, this this game might stink. Uh, pick up some Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. Make your game smell a whole lot better, uh, unless it's putrid sewers. But then you get to watch Kyle gag, and that is still the funniest moment we've ever had on Murder Hobo Inc. Pretty much. Watch, watching somebody choke to death in real life. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, they also make the shine system, so if you're interested in writing, take a look at it. Folks, this is the Calamity Campaign. These are the Calamity Campaigners. Let's introduce you before we do the recap on the game. First one up is Rob. Rob, who are you? Who do you play? I'm Rob. You can find me at Cthulhu Rob on Twitter and the things. And I played Dave, the half elf barbarian. Outstanding. Next up is David, not Dave. David. <laughs> Howdy. Uh, in the Murder Hobo verse, I am uh, Zadar uh, on their cacophony uh, show, <laughs> as well as um, I'm here on the Calamity campaign and sometimes can be found Tuesdays mostly uh, on our show Between the Rolls. So, and every once in a, uh, once in a while a one shot. So, Like last night? Yeah. yeah. Last night was a good one shot. It was a mm -hmm. decent one shot. Nobody died, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up is Scott. Scott, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. I'm Scott. Um, I'm playing Rakir, a human <laughs> elf monk. Um, you can find me on uh, Twitter on DM Poobah, but I have like two followers and one of them is my dog. Um, so, you so know, it's me and the dog. <laughs> yeah, basically. But no, I, I think all these guys here may, may follow me. So, you know, that, now you got one. <laughs> DM, however, DM Poobah. <laughs> DM Poobah. I, I'm real popular on like MySpace or something like that. I think <laughs> like like eighty percent of the traffic still on my speed up. Uh, it says Friendster right here. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that still has your Earthlink email address, right? <laughs> it does. No, it has my AOL.com. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on the Prodigy Bulletin board. <laughs> Who do you play on this uh, this shithole game we're playing? I play. Uh, I play Rakir. He is a uh, he's a human monk. Um, <laughs> constantly searching for for friends always wants people to like him That's you are going to like today then uh, yep. last but certainly not least Jesse, Jesse, same question, different answer uh, I am uh, Jesse I, uh, you can find me on the Twitter space and the Insta whatevers and all those at uh, J-R-W-O-O-W-I-E -W -O -O -W -E. Um, I am playing Azari, the Leonin Ranger with the uh, stoic honorableness and the Spock like family members who uh, I thought was dying. It's just he was showing affection as a family member. So I thought he was dying. <laughs> well, my dad's alive. Um, and uh, we're going to go uh, up to people and probably kill them. Did you have that awkward hug moment? It's just like you don't no, know. What no, it is. <laughs> if we that's we don't hug. That's like that's, no, that's, that's too friendly. Like right. he would have to die for me to hug him. So. Right, and, and yeah, that's just not, because you're going through his pockets. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Did Dad leave me the will in this pocket or in that, this pocket? that pocket? <laughs> there it is, <laughs> folks. This is the Calamity Campaign. It's a Stone Bronze Age early settlement uh, kind of thing. The master story is still yet unknown. Uh, currently, these guys uh, started off in the community of Ba, a mountain, so a mountain uh, containing caves where they lived, next to a 
Serene Lake. They went out on a hunt. They went out on a second hunt. When they came back from the second hunt, they discovered, much to their chagrin, some of their family members had been killed, wounded, and or kidnapped. Um, mm. The leader of Ba, Gizba, has decreed that these four heroes and their friend, Doff, uh, aka their major competitor uh, are to go out in the early morning hours hunt down these uh, brigands who posed as wine merchants and poisoned the town uh, find and retrieve as many of the citizens as they can uh, they have said their piece some uh, Ingve has uh, buried his uh, deceased mother because uh, it's always good to kill a mom I killed your mom, right? Or your dad? My mom and my dad was abducted. So yeah. <laughs> lucky you. See, Rakir, eh, he's an orphan. He doesn't give a shit about this project. <laughs> he's just looking for new friends. Uh, so we begin uh, the next morning, and I believe this is morning three of the campaign. Uh, Doff is in the plaza, still looking glum because he lost his brother during a catastrophe with an owlbear that fortunately these guys saved the day. Uh, Dolph is kind of, uh, what do you call it, uh, an asshole, uh, but he is going to be an NPC so far. Uh, if you joined in on Twitter with the uh, poll that we had, uh, the numbers show that Dolph's probably going to die tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, somebody's been paying attention to the stream. So, uh, gentlemen, you have all gathered your belongings, meek and meager as they may be. You have, uh, you know what? You have three days rations, food and water, uh, including Doff. Uh, you have no mounts to speak of. Uh, there are ruts leading east away from Ba, back towards uh, what we believe to be a different frontier. So... Uh, any questions of Gizba or Lokai, the female in charge of security, before you guys head on out? Not at this this time. I mean, <clears throat> I guess the tracks pretty much show us uh, where the uh, wagons and all that started holding off. Uh, Unless it rains, who wants to D twelve against me to see if it starts raining? <laughs> <laughs> I, I had I had one quick question sure. before, just real quick. I asked Giz Bob, you know, has this ever happened before? Never in all my years. Never in all years. Well, you can count on us. <laughs> Great. <laughs> can I get a big club? <laughs> sure, it's called Doff. Who wants to D12 at me to see if the skies are going to open up? Uh oh. Three. <laughs> it's getting cloudy out there, boys. <laughs> uh, they, you, they have about a 24 hour head start on you. However, uh, right. they, they had a couple wagons and they had uh, a, a lot of kidnap victims. So, Let's you know, run. from a transport, eh, you could probably catch up to them fairly quickly. Uh, Dave wants to run. Anybody else want to run or? You want to take a leisurely pace. Doff still in mourning for his brother. Um, I tell them not to panic, but maybe I can wild shape into a wolf and maybe pick up on the scent if while while it's not raining. Now, when you wild shape, does that give you all the benefits and sensory perception of the creature that you attune to? Yes. Yes. Give me a wisdom per, or give me a perception check, then. Okay. Ingve turns into a wolf. Uh, 20. Is immediately shot by Wo Kai, I think uh, <laughs> Marauder. Damn it, uh, I told you. <laughs> Ingve uh, turns into a wolf retriever and ding points directly where the ruts are. Good job, wolf. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm good. <laughs> I'm going to tear off a piece of the blue robe and tie it around Ingve's neck so that we can see that he's not a regular wolf. Right. Very good idea. <laughs> and then, I, and then I'm going to start taking off in the direction he pointed. 
Start. Fair, fair enough. The ruts are still uh, pretty good. It seems to run along the side of the lake. Uh, so uh, while you head off this morning and the skies are darkening, uh, there's a slight chill in the air. And uh, anybody who has a trick knee knows that it's about to rain. Uh, as you go along, you notice fish plopping at the top of the water line. Uh, on the far side of the lake, uh, you notice a large bear uh, wading in. Looks like he's going to get lunch. Uh, the individual creature is far out of range, but large enough that you can tell what it is, uh, just to let you know that there is some wildlife in this region. As you move along, uh, you notice that, well, you know what? Give me an investigation check. See, I do that when Jesse walks away. Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> Natural 20 for 22. Okay. I hate that. All my good rolls are happening now. <laughs> Natural 18 for a 17. Yep. Natural 16 for a 15. Uh, Natural 15 for a 16. All of you uh, noticed that one of the wheels doesn't seem to be doing so hot. It seems to be a regularly shaped trail. This uh, may bode well for you. Maybe mm. not. Uh, you're going to go ahead and follow this for about two hours, and then the raindrops start to fall upon your head. Rain Duff is at the rear the of the group, head. unless somebody wants to be behind him. Oh, I'll be behind him. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you can bring up the rear. You notice that Duff is just uh, trudging along with everybody else, not saying anything. Uh, seems lost in his own world. Clearly PTSD and over the owlbear and the loss of his brother. Uh, I start so humming. <laughs> now, if you were watching Twitter today, you you have to snap your fingers because that annoys one of our cast members. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go, Dave. <laughs> you get that, Dave? You catch that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make never, Dave wake straight. <laughs> never let him. Never let him know your weakness. Uh, That's right. <laughs> two more hours, and the rain is a steady drizzle, <clears throat> and it's a it's a bit chilly. Uh, the trail starts to diminish slightly, although you can tell that the ruts are pretty deep. Uh, everybody, give me a wisdom check, not a save. Let's see if you know why. 12. 7. 17. Uh, 11. Are you still in wolf form, Inge? Mm hmm. Well, tough shit. Can't tell them what it is. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is it, boy? Did Timmy fall in well again? Timmy is in the well. <laughs> so, What's that, boy? <laughs> you want me to go back into town to get the sheriff? <laughs> yeah. You can, oh, you can see Duff kind of clinch his club at the whininess uh, I, of him. I, 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 I tell you, I'll, I'll go ahead and drop uh, Wild Shape. And, um, I have a blue bow tie. I know. <laughs> But you're larger than the wolf form, so now you're... <laughs> yeah, it's like... Oh. <laughs> Dagger. <laughs> uh, even Duff didn't know what it was. Uh, Ingve points out, it appears as though they're carrying the people in the wagon, hence the depth of the ruts. Uh, the rain really starts to pick up at the end of hour four, uh, but then miraculously... The sky is clear, uh, and a beam of light hits the plains uh, as you start to leave the lake. Uh, yeah, start to leave the lake behind, I think. No, it, it starts to curve. My apologies. Uh, the ruts continue on straight through the grasslands. Uh, let's see. Everybody give me a perception check. Nine. Oh, yeah, cool. 22. 22. Uh, wait, sorry. Brain dead here. 21. Uh, everybody but Rock here. I'm a little too. And busy Doff. Back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rock here and Doff uh, don't have their head in the game. 
Something is amiss here, uh, Dave, Ingve, and Azari. The ground looks a little bit disheveled, almost like it is a farming community. Hmm. hmm. Like this was once plowed fields or something like that? or If Stevie Wonder was plowing the field, yes, because there are significant ruts and... It's almost like giant moles have uh, trudged up the land here. But the ruts mm. continue straight through. Okay. <clears throat> A little trepidatious, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I keep my eyes peeled. I'm going to put my shield on my left arm and my spear in my right hand. Sure. Uh, the ground begins to shake as the sunlight intensifies and brightens up the day. Uh, the ground explodes, sending chunks of dirt everywhere, and a giant insect emerges angrily. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 20 for Ingve. 19. Uh, 10. 20 for Azari. 10 for Rakir. Uh, I don't think I did that. Who got the 19? Dave. Got it. Uh, everybody roll our can of check. Let's see if you know what this is. Uh, 14. 11. 7. 20 again. Uh, Azari, uh, you are familiar with this from stories your fathers used to tell, although it shouldn't be in this location. Uh, mm. You think it is a giant scorpion. <coughs> But it doesn't look like a small scorpion. It looks more like a giant praying mantis. Uh, huh. Let's go with the 20, Ingve. Uh, uh, Ingve and Azari. Uh, my eyes glow and I produce flame, and uh, I'll launch a, a, a ball of flame towards the, <laughs> the creature. Yeah. How far Nat away is the creature? Oh. Natural 20. 25 feet. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, seven points of fire damage. Seems unaffected. Azari. Uh, I will <laughs> uh, bonus action Hunter's Mark the creature. And then I will uh, pull out my longbow and fire off a shot. Sure. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. That hits. Okay. For 14 points of piercing damage. That's pretty freaking impressive. Dave! Uh, I have a spear in my hand. <laughs> I hucked that spear. Right in the back of the Zari. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 22 to hit. That hits. Hmm. What is? Aha! Uh -huh. I don't use the spear very often. Um, Eleven points of damage, piercing. <clears throat> very nice. At which uh, point I'm going to get mad and yank up my big axe. Fair enough. Uh, this creature rears back from the pain and it excretes a spray of greenish. Blackish fluid. Gonna need everybody but Rakir and Dolph to make a save. Dexterity. Don't save you all. Uh, 15 for Dex. That'll be half. Eight. Just, yeah. That's full. 14. Uh, that's half. Uh, five, one, four, ten hit points of damage to Azari, five to both Dave and Ingve as a jet of acidic toxin uh, sprays apart. Rakir and Doff, you are horrified at what you witness. Uh, Doff rolled a natural one on his initiative. That means Rakir goes first. Uh, your friends have wounded the creature, though. All right, I will... Um... I will <clears throat> throw a dart at the uh, at the uh, creature. Okay. I was 
you thought I was going to say throw a dart at Doff. I, I know. But, yep. but yeah, I, 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 I'm going to, you know, I'm going to throw it from behind Doff, right? So I am going to kind of chuck it past the, the, the ear, one so. will be Doff. Yeah. 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 Okay. So just want to make sure. Uh, as a reaction, okay, that's a miss. That's a, that's a five. I, oh. I missed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hang on to your reaction for just yeah. a second. Uh, okay. Doff is also going to throw a spear. Four, not even close. It sails high, uh, and he grabs a boy or a blunt stone axe. Uh, your reaction, Ingve? Uh I'm casting absorb <laughs> elements uh, on myself, and uh, that's just the reaction. It's gonna, it's like I I become like a little resistant to it or whatever, and my next attack is with whatever it did. Gotcha. Uh, top of the order, the two twenties, Zari and Ingve. Uh, Ingve, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Absorb elements. Uh, makes a melee attack uh, with uh, a shillelagh. Shillelagh. Shalele, hit you with my shalele. Look at he's a fucking leprechaun tonight. I'm going to hit him with my fucking shalele. Uh, 24 to hit. That hits. And uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, eight points of magical bludgeoning damage. That works. Yeah. Azari? Fire off. Fire off another arrow. Uh, 24 to hit. Yep. Uh, and another nine points of piercing damage. Not bad. Dave, you have your axe in hand. And I will close and attack. Okay. And I will shout my new battle cry as of this moment. Squish! Uh, that's the first natural 20 of the night. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I need the two D12s. Oof. Once that is 11 and 7 is 18 plus 6, 4 for strength, 2 for rage, is 24 points of uh, slashing damage. It's pretty beat up, uh, but it already used its breath uh, moment. Uh, I have three of you uh, close enough for melee range. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six, Azari, this thing hates your guts. It is going to bite. I think. Mm. Yes, it is biting. 12 plus 5, 17. That hits. You are going to be in some pain, my friend. Uh, also, you need a DC 13 grapple to avoid its mandibles. Oh, you got lucky there. Six hit points of slashing damage. How was your grapple? Was that athletics? Uh, uh, you can use athletics. Athletics, very works okay. Uh, that's 10 plus 3, 13 on the button. Uh, you slide uh, painlessly out of its mandibles. Uh, Raccoon, ah! this thing doesn't look good at all. It's up to you and your new friend, Dolph. Well, I will, uh, I will take aim with, with another dart and try to throw it there. That's a 10. That is a miss. Uh, Sorry, that's a 12. That's a, I rolled a 7 and plus 5, so that's a 12. So still a miss. Yep, you'll be fetching that one. Uh, Doff screams, hoists his axe over his head, charges forward. Uh, no. 13. Uh, it rings off the plated plates. Uh, Azari and Ingve, uh, roll a d12 straight up, please. Two. Uh, seven. Ingve, you will have, uh, you guys tied, so you will strike first. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I will uh, go ahead and strike at it again uh, with uh, the shillelagh. And <coughs> let's see. Uh, does a 12 hit it? A 12 does not hit. Okay. Uh, bonus action. I'm going to summon a spirit totem 
and uh, it's going to be the unicorn totem. So it's just going to pulse, and everybody gets two hit points. Um, at it back. Azari, the prize is yours if you can get it. Um, I will drop my bow and pull out my short swords, and then I will stab at it. Whip. Nope. <clears throat> There you go. Uh, 20 to hit? Yeah, that gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Does a 20 how, hit? <laughs> how much damage, though? Um, uh, 8 plus 3. Uh, 11. It succumbs to its uh, massive injuries and falls over. Uh, Doff comes up. <laughs> well done. Well done. Uh, walks around, uh, grabs the spear, grabs the dart that Rakir overthrew, and uh, plucks the dart out of the carcass and returns both darts to you, Rakir. Here you go, my friend. Puts his axe back and keeps his uh, spear handy in case it moves again. Um, Ingve starts chanting healing word. Uh, and focuses on an, on everybody that's been hit. And that would be a Zari. <laughs> Mostly a Zari. <laughs> so you get six uh, hit points back, and I however long directly. we've been here, uh, I don't know, how many rounds do you think in time would we have been here? Because it pulses with each round for two. Okay, so uh, six more oh, point hit points. Se since you cast it, mm -hmm. one round. One round. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you got a total of eight hit points back at this point. Nice. Okay. Yeah. The fight was three rounds. So. Okay. Nice. Much better. Uh, many. Anybody cool. want to look at this creature? Uh, Doth is yeah. poking around at it, just making sure that it is dead. Uh, yeah. Look at the creature. Look at the hole it came out of. I guess too. Yeah. Uh, the hole is misshapen earth. Uh, various rocks there. Uh, everybody, roll just a straight up d twenty. 11. Dolph almost explodes the uh, acid pack. Oh, uh, natural 20. There it is. Uh, 12. Uh, I wasn't going to give you any treasure, but you know what? A small rusted, you uh, know, not rusted, a ceramic pot with uh, kind of round things. You don't know what the hell they are. Okay. But, but there's. Uh, Quite a few of them. You guys don't know what coins are. There's 46 of them. Uh, 46 coins. Yeah, they're round, green, Ooh. so they're copper. Uh, okay. But yeah, you have no concept of currency here. Uh, Dave might because he came from a different part of the land. Rakir might because he came from a different part. But Ba had no Ooh. currency system because uh, they're all Marxists. Yeah. <laughs> Three um, other, th yeah. other than that uh, speaking uh, of collectivism I'm going to go grab my spear and shield did you just drop them where they were I, I left this the spear hit the scorpion the shield I dropped as I approached the scorpion so it should be fairly close yeah, Azari uh, the stories that your father told you uh, indicate this creature should have come from the scorched uh, ruins ergo uh Fire really doesn't hurt it that much, uh, but it doesn't look the way he described it. You may presume that he was just trying to scare you and your sisters, uh, you know, goblins and fairy tales and yeah. dragons. Uh, but it's it's a, a closer rendition, but it should not be here at all because uh, you are hell and gone from the wasteland. Yeah. Dave, not like it. Bear owls, giant bug. Not good. Dolph will mm. say that uh, he, he, he expresses caution uh, if any of you are going to take trophies uh, because whatever burned Azari and Ingve and Dave might still be within the carcass. Uh, but he, he claims no right to the carcass uh, as he did uh, no damage. Mm. Mm. Uh, Ingve just kind of studies it <clears throat> for and takes it in for a wild shape. So, uh, the, is, go ahead. This creature is far from its home. This is not where it would be. 
the, you should walk with caution moving yeah, forward. You're fine. You're fine. You should just, just run. Everyone yeah, run. Okay, just <laughs> run blindfolded. Uh, yeah. The moist prairie <laughs> grass uh, gives off a strange scent, but uh, as you look around, uh, you can tell whatever ceramic urn this thing had. Uh, that appears to be the only thing. Uh, oh. You aren't really even sure where it came from. There are no bones. Uh, it was probably just some leprechaun hiding his bullshit. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> Dave hmm. what manner of uh, object are these in the in the well, they're greenish with an odd tint to them. They this seem to be called... a metal of some kind. Dave, throw them this... up in the air and make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> this is called money. What's money? Some kind even of magic. In my, mm, even in my homeland, Makes... we spoke of mostly trade, not... In, in East, they take money and it makes other things happen. Hmm. Some kind of magic, Dave, no understand. Maybe I've, always heard, later. I've always heard when you had lots of these things, people liked you. You want them? <laughs> <laughs> Would you care for these? There seems to be a, a great they many. In the they smell room. like blood. Well, when I take them, does it make you like me more? I care very little for the coin, therefore. But the fact that I have them, does that make you like me more? Why would that change my perception of you? Well, then I don't want them. Hmm. I will hold on I to them in that. case they come in handy at some point. Sure. Um, so I'll put it in. I'll put the, I'll take the, I'll just pour the coins into like a smaller pouch and put it in my pack. There's sure. no need to, I just Maybe they'll make the someone else like someone else more. Possibly. No, pot's nice. Uh, pot is nice. You make pot beans or value. rice in pot like that. Uh, you would that's take true. this pot that had the green stuff growing in it with the, that with has the use. Monies. Monies. They smell bad. No. Uh, everybody, give me an investigation check. That's a dirty one. <laughs> that's two dirty ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 10 for Ingve. <laughs> uh, bang, bang this stuff on our head. What? We're, we're <laughs> like the apes uh, from 2000. <laughs> 14. I'm thinking we're, like, thinking we're like the models from, uh, what, what is it? The, the, the I'm Zoolander. looking my spear at the dirt looking for more bi- more pop, oh, you know? Zoolander when they're trying Zoolander, to get... Zoolander, yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to get in the computer. <laughs> it's, it's in the this computer. building is too small to house the kids. Uh, Azari... Maybe if we dig up Earth, more pots. <laughs> Azari, you notice uh, on the far side of the combat area, uh, the ruts are a little bit less noticeable, but you still see them. Uh, so the rainstorm must have been uh, worse here than it was getting to here. Uh, but the trail continues on. Uh, the lake is over to your right, kind of curving, uh, but your path leads straight. Onward, friends. We have family yes. to save. Get the pot. Uh, you guys head off. Uh, the ground undulates here, not quite hilly, but just kind of dips and rises, not that big a deal. Uh, however, as you get to a slight rise, you notice a dead tree down low. You can clearly see from this vantage point the ruts in the uh, frontier grass, but you also notice a creature underneath the tree sitting on a stump. Mm. What kind of creature? It looks like a big gopher. Prairie dog. Do we approach as though it's an animal or approach as though it has intelligence? I got this. Hey! Hey! <laughs> it, it raises its paw and hails you. Hi! I am Dave of Ba! And I'll just start walking towards it. In common, the creature says, Hi, Dave of Ba. How are you? I am distressed. 
Raiders have taken my family and they have traveled to the east. We are hunting them. You guys seriously letting the barbarian demon talking on this one? <laughs> <laughs> yep. He wants to. Let the, let the go, man go, shine. Go for, <laughs> go for Stu it is, I see. Uh, the uh, gopher enunciates his words quite well and speaks perfect common. Uh, and he explains to you that he regrets the loss of your friends and family. Uh, he wishes he could help, but he has his own issues. Did you happen to see wagons passing? Uh, no, I came from the north. Uh, I, I see the tracks, but I, I wasn't really sure which way to go. Uh, and then I saw you guys, so I, you seem friendly enough, I guess. Yeah, you do not mean us harm? Uh, no, my large smelly friend i uh i am <laughs> i am merely seeking uh an answer <clears throat> maybe dave no answer well i am buckley the brave and uh i met with a somewhat unusual individual i think the word is witch and uh she has turned me into a gopher uh and the runes explained to me by my oracle said that I can be changed only if I find a set of warrens in the frontier. Ingve! Uh, <laughs> uh, this gopher made my head hurt! <laughs> <laughs> so Ingve comes... Uh, Hurriedly walking up. <laughs> just... Oh, so you let Dave take on the giant gopher by himself. Nice touch. <laughs> yeah. But I have arrows for it. Dude. What? Exactly. What's awesome? uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll walk. I'll walk up to. Uh, I'll walk up to this gopher creature. Yeah. And don't, don't follow suit. I I heard him talking <laughs> to it, so I would introduce myself to the creature. And. Uh, Hey, hey guys. <laughs> I've known Dave a long time. Dave talks to all the animals. Uh, Ing Ingve, you know, um, and I, I don't know. Somehow, I mean, I managed to hear most of the conversation. So, uh, uh, Buckley explains again since yeah. you guys wander in. He explains that he is Buckley the Brave, a great warrior from the east. Uh, he had a run in with somebody called a witch mm -hmm. uh who turned him into a giant gopher he consulted his oracle after the witch left and the oracle's bones say that he needed to go to the frontier and find warrens uh where another great warrior was buried uh and has the means to change buckley back into himself oh okay um well, what was a warren uh cave system underneath uh like uh like gopher holes. Oh, okay. We just, we but but just in this case, back. in in this case, it would be larger, kind of burial plots. Okay. okay. We uh, just passed a little place that may meet that description, and it was like a big scorpion-looking thing. Or at least, as Ziri, we're told it was called something called the big scorpion thing. And that is that is the exact name of it. <laughs> big scorpion thing. And, uh, <laughs> big scorpion thing. Big, big scorpion big, uh, thing. And the terms. ground kind of looked like it was, you know, like the kind of as you described. And then we found this pot, and we show them the pot that we found, and it had these had these things that they called monies. But it is. It is copper. It's copper. Okay. We're, we're, where we're from has no we don't have any of those things we, we just the, the the pot is nice the i heard that, nice. that i heard that when you have lots of the coins that people you know respect you and like you and do what you say but i just tried that and i took a lot of them and no one treated me any different so <laughs> i think that's just a rumor well, in the East, you can buy mounts and beasts of burden uh, and wow. items. Yes, yeah, so you take the coins and you trade it to them, uh, and a price is set uh, 
and that's how that's how you conduct business. I assume you are from a trading uh, outpost. Uh, trade and barter. We do a lot of bartering. So. Think of it as bartering with metal. Ah, okay. So these warrens and the big scorpion-looking thing, uh, is it still alive? Oh, no. Uh, no. Yeah. It was failed. If oh, I may ask, is, Buckley. That is good for me. <laughs> <laughs> if I may ask, Buckley, what transgressions had you... What transgressions did you give against this witch to make you what you are today? I called her weak and worthless, and she proved me wrong. Hmm. And I say that's so, a hard lesson learned. <laughs> I should not have been so personally insulting to the old crone. And you are a great warrior. Mm-hmm. Why, would you, why would you at that time assess your opponent without truly assessing your opponent at the time she was not my opponent i was in a tavern and there may have been uh ale involved if you know what that is ah yes it is a weakness of mine or was (laughs) (laughs) so are many warriors such as yourself as foolish or do in the east or is this common trait amongst your people? Uh, let's see how he's taking you. Uh, he, he's, not, a... he's not digging your tone at all. Because that's a four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he kind of seems silently and says, I have made some mistakes, as we all have. I am trying to learn from it and make myself a better person. I, I Not everyone I, is like I intercede a little bit. I said, my friend Azari, his kind tend to be real pragmatic and logical. So emotion really doesn't, doesn't. It has nothing to do with logical. It more or less has to do with as being a warrior, one would accept (laughs) your own opponent, all people as opponents. That's point. Know that you either that fighting. Keep, keep poking him with the stick, Azari. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, he's, not, this is like, he's not down on him. He's just pointing out a fact. Oh, the die roll says you're down on him. That that was a five. <laughs> he is really well, you are choosing to better yourself. Uh, you are choosing to better yourself. That is. Admirable. We don't. I say we don't have a lot of experience with uh, what they call diplomacy. So. Mm. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> we hunt, not diplomas. So are you also great warriors from your community? Um yeah, I think we can hold our own. Uh Dave is pretty formidable. Azari, very, very skilled and very keen hunter. Uh Rakir, very formidable with uh his his methodology of with his words. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll go with that. He's a, he's a yenta. He's using that passive aggressive just nicely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, somebody who looks as stupid as you, it really comes through. <laughs> <laughs> Guilt is his superpower. <laughs> I, I can imagine so. Uh, shovel really well. I, may I ask? <laughs> yeah. May I ask? Since you have been to this area where you believe the Warrens are. Would you have time to show me these warrens and perhaps delve deeply in? I would be happy to share the spoils. Uh, I confer with my friends. I turn to them, and uh, as they say, I mean, he, I mean, our alliances, you know, could become King Groen. He may may help us if we help him. Off is ambivalent. Though he seems a fool, it would be best to. Are are you saying that loud enough while you guys are not? I'm saying this quiet, like, I'm saying this quietly. It's like, though he seems a fool, I will. Oh, jackass over here. (laughs) (laughs) The asshole behind us. Though he seems a fool, it would be, it would behoove us to aspire to have more colleagues as we move along. Yes. Extra help would not hurt. 
for a short period, as long as it does not waylay our situation. Right, right. But in all fairness, we've seen Dave with his libation, so yeah, yeah, we kind of understand. <laughs> Old village wiped out. Dave, fine. Hmm. <laughs> so I don't think it was wine. I think they put something in pork. Dave didn't eat pork. Didn't eat pork. <laughs> okay. Ah. Well, so, then uh, let us help this creature, and we'll see what happens. We're going to help the gopher. Sorry, says help gopher. Dave will help gopher. Yeah, we can help gophers. <laughs> as long as it does not take us too long. If it doesn't waylay our time frame, then we should be all right. Let us help the gopher. If we run behind, I will run ahead. Kindness is a luxury that sometimes we must afford to others. Right. Interesting take. <laughs> what, would, uh, what would I, I think to myself, what would Gizbot do? Uh, I will point out the fact that because of the conditions of the tracks and stuff like that, they're kind of hobbled a little bit with that with that car, uh, wagon. So with the amount of weight that they're carrying, it and, would and be one of the wheels looked like it was about to give out. So and Ingvan could, makes the wolf. Ingvan, and I can run them down while you catch up. We're all fairly quick, so I think it should help. Yes, let's help this man creature thing quickly, and we'll move on. Yeah. Buckley, we will assist you on your endeavor. Friends, I appreciate that greatly, more than you will ever know. Please show me where these uh, this spot is that you believe is the Warrens. Yeah. We'll need another take place. them back. Speaking of libations. <laughs> uh, you, you guys take them back. Uh, the ground is still disheveled, still potholed. Uh, the carcass is still there. Uh, it's starting to attract some insect life uh, because, you know, nature, fi nature uh, uh, finds a way. Finds a way. Uh, a circle yeah. And uh, you guys can go ahead and look around. I will take investigation checks by all of you, Doff and Buckley included. Uh, Doff has a one. <laughs> <laughs> investigation, you say? Yep. Dave has zero. Uh, 18 for Ingve. 30 zero. Uh, that's a 19. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. And Rakir, uh, investigation. Oh, now that, uh, that's a dirty 19. It's, it was a nat 20, but I'm minus one on investigation, so. Very nice. Uh, Rakir, Ingve, and Azari uh, checking the area of disheveled uh, dirt. You find an opening that appears to have a tunnel about three feet tall. Uh, you can call it Frank's crawl space. Dave, <laughs> you and Duff uh, find an opening as well, but you fall through into it. Uh, and you are just dropped to about yay high. Uh, give me a perception check. You and Dolph. Uh, uh, that's a 19. Uh, Dolph turns to you and says, did you feel something move across your feet too? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you kind of look, uh, but unfortunately you're planted like carrots. Uh, because of your zero and one. Ingve, Rakir, Azari, you uh, hail, and Buckley comes over uh, and says, Well, this looks like Warren's. Oh, there. I have a spear. Creatures in the Warren's. <laughs> oh, very nice. I'm sorry to say again. Are there creatures that we may find in these Warren's? The Oracle did not no know. Body. Uh, Dave, give me three stabs. If you roll a one, you're going to hit your leg or Dolph's. 18, 14, 9. He will follow suit. Those are just straight rolls. Yep. I may have cut open my leg. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> Dirt should hold the blood in, Doff. Don't worry. Who's that? Doff? Oh, yeah. man. Uh, but uh, neither one of you feel anything moving about. You're still trying to figure out whether you want to go down or go up. Azari, Ingve, Rakir. Uh, Buckley says, uh, I don't know. I can go first if you'd like. Yeah, well, you go in the first. Tour. Well, he's a, you said he's a gopher? He's a large gopher, but yeah, he's a okay. gopher, like half so size your, gopher. It seems your status as a uh, newfound creature would actually make you well suited for this endeavor. I, I will be happy to go uh, with you at my back. I know that we shall succeed uh, against any opponent, big or, big or small. Uh, where are your two uh, powerful warriors at? They look over and you guys see this. They are currently engaged with a troublesome opponent known as the Earth. The Earth doesn't move under my feet. Do we? Do you want me to go, or do we want to go get them? I, you know, I don't want to split you guys up since you. And you guys. I'll I'll go. I'll go and push Doff down. <laughs> oh, no, hold on! I, I think Azari does that better than any of you. Right? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Rakir goes over to help Doff, help Doff and Dave. Uh, Buckley says, "In for a penny, in for a pound." Ooh, it's dark in here, uh, uh, and you see his little gopher butt uh, scurry down in there, and there's just a. Slight echoing, which is strange considering it should be Earth. Uh, goes, ah, interesting. Uh oh, <laughs> it's uh, a cavern space. This oh. is, uh, it's, it's, there's, it's war, yeah, it's, uh, might be a crypt. There's a lot of skulls down here. There's a, there's a, a split in the tunnel. I'm gonna. Maybe it's a shrine to Elon. Let me I, in. I, I, you know what, guys? I'm, I'm gonna. Oh no! Oh shit! We, we lost reception. <laughs> you, you don't know what he was gonna say. Oh, damn it! Uh, I will. How big are these holes? Three feet. Oh jeez, I'm gonna have to squeeze in this fucker. All right, let's <laughs> squeeze in and try and find the idiot gopher who just. Brave <laughs> warrior gopher. Uh, <laughs> here, you head on over to Dave and Doff. Uh, what do you want to do with the Bob C twins? Um, I'm going to uh, say, hold on one second there, Doff. And I'm just going to run up and, and just try to like, you know, just sit on his face. Really, really just knock him down. You know, just try to push him down. Sure. To the ground. Okay. <laughs> I think that, there's a term for that, folks. If you want to go to he, go ahead and go over to Urban Dictionary, just go ahead and put in those search terms. You'll be able to figure out what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Doff disappears underground like that. At the same time, Dave, you feel a, a heavy substance land on your feet. Uh, even with your rudimentary intelligence, you can assume that uh, Doff is now splayed out at your feet. Uh, Doff, being a half orc, uh, can see somewhat in the dark. Uh, you hear, thanks, uh, tunnel. No problem, friend. <laughs> tunnel. Uh, and Dave, uh, the weight disappears off your feet. Uh, Azari, uh, do you guys have dark vision? Yes. Okay. Yes, so I you, do. Can, you can see. He does. <laughs> uh, as you go about 10 feet in, you notice... Walls of skulls. Does it get? Is it still like only like three feet wide? Tunnel? Currently, uh, as you okay. continue on down, you notice it tees off, uh, mm -hmm. and it goes to five feet. Oh, uh, still small. And, and there's like, I don't know, cobblestones is what you're thinking. Okay. Uh, as a base. Give I will. A, uh, no, I'll uh, try and yell to everybody. Uh, as best I can to follow me. Monsters, follow me! <laughs> <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> I, 
I follow him and all that. When we get to the five foot area and all that, I'm going to produce flame, <laughs> the non-burning kind. And um, Did anybody sniff the air first? <laughs> you said magical well, like flame nothing. doesn't burn. <laughs> That's why like trying to set the mood. Okay. Uh, you uh, reach Azari because you run into him. Uh, you produce flame and you notice that this intersection has four rotting wooden posts that have strange sigils carved into them. Uh, with the advent of the flame, you notice that, uh, for lack of a better term, it looks like this is crushed stone, we'll say, that you're walking yeah. on. Uh, certainly not fragments of bone. Well, maybe. You aren't really sure. We're not I, sure. <laughs> it looks like seashells. Uh, Azari, give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, 19. Give me an intelligence check. Natural 20. Uh, you hear something on the left, uh, and it looks like a gopher. Buckley? Yes. Okay. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't something else. Uh, no, this, uh, are you seeing what I'm seeing? This appears to be held up by posts, almost as if it were a mining facility. It's possible. Uh, what are these? Can I read these sigil, sigils? Arcana? Okay. Anybody looking at the posts? Arcana. Yeah. Uh, uh, is. Uh, 15. 17. Nope, neither one. Uh, Rakir and Dave. No. <laughs> Doth speak is five gone. languages and none of them you don't speak this language <laughs> uh what are you guys doing Doth is apparently rooting around well i was saw where ingve went following ruck here and so i'm climbing out going over to follow where ingve went or uh where ingve and azari went okay now ruck here is still with you yeah well he can follow or not Doth went down that way but i'm not digging through the dirt to try and find Doth. Right yeah, here? I'll I will help Dave if he's kind of stuck. I'll I'll help him up, and uh, and then and then uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll leave Doff um, down there and say Doff, we'll 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 come and get you in just a little while. Uh, you, hear, you hear a muffled statement, uh, but maybe you we'll find it later. It yeah, uh, and you guys head on over to where Ingve and Azari disappeared. Damn right. straight. I, you can see a little bit of a glow uh, because I would assume uh, the produced flame that Ingve is using, uh, even a candlelight in complete darkness is going to show something. Sure. Really? I've got dark vision anyway. Uh, in, uh, Zari, did you follow down or no, you were investigating the posts, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, Ingve, you're already down there. Go ahead mm -hmm. and give me perception check. Uh, 22. For I just sent you a quick message there, Frank. Uh, something is moving to the right. <laughs> okay. I, I turned I turned to, to look. <laughs> uh, it appears as though a bi or a quadruped is coming this way. Ooh, uh, yeah, I caused some concern. Something four-legged is moving this way. <laughs> So I definitely tell Azari and whoever else is. Um, Go for to the left. Like, Something to the right. Hmm? Okay. And uh, Dave and is making his way over to you, but not yet. Rock here will be making his way over to you shortly. Because he has his own pet project on the DIY network that he's doing. <laughs> Can I see uh, anything uh, with the with the flame? A dark shadow, because uh, the flame isn't that great. Okay. And it seems to see be. It? Uh, 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 can I see it with my dark vision? Uh, you, you can see that it looks like it's probably bipedal, but moving on all fours because that direction, whoop, is still narrow. Uh, is that. Hail, who is this? It's me. Oh, it's Doth. 
It's just you, re- you recognize Dolph. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, as he makes hey, it, ha- <laughs> there's Dolph. As he makes it halfway in, uh, it expands up to the five feet. He's all hunched over, and he goes, "What's we that all are. smell?" Uh, Dave, you have now crawled in, and you are also in there. Uh, kind of a tight fit, by the way, guys. Yeah, as we're all like, <laughs> I, I try to move to. A well, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. There Ingve, we were. How tall are you, Ingve? Uh Ingve is uh, about five nine, five ten. So this isn't horrible. Mm-mm. Dave, it's pretty bad. I'm pretty. Yeah, me too. This well, is... here, are you going to go in? Yeah. Fuck, I'm going to have to take a knee. I can't. My care. He won't be able to stand <laughs> like that forever. Uh, <laughs> Dolph, Dolph looks around and he goes, where'd the badger go? To our left. And he's a gopher. The hamster. Uh, what are we doing? I saw him in a Kia Soul earlier. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. I he, thought that he, was that's a, a free plug for you, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he asked, "What are we waiting for? Are we following this guy? What are we doing?" Buckley, which way are we going now? Buckley, it's Buckley there. Track the gopher. Yes, yeah, so now I have to track the fucking gopher. Oh, I'm down here, guys. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, take a, we'll take a left and follow the gopher. Maybe get okay. bigger tunnels. Uh, it comes to uh, you go about thirty feet, uh, and it's chips, just strange ivory, whitish, bone bone esque material chips uh, line it uh, next to some of the wooden posts with sigils in them. Uh, will sit a skull inset into the ground. Uh, Buckley. There's something up ahead. Oh. Dave, take well, point. I think it's a spider. Dave, take point. That's not good. <laughs> Dave, you're on point. Uh, Duff. Cover Dave. One man shield wall. I will cover Dave. Inve. Prepare your spell. Okay. I pull. I'll. I'll pull. Is it still only five feet tall? This uh, five feet and, tall, two and a half feet wide. Shit. One by. <laughs> yeah. This is, yeah. This is one on one. So. Uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, Dave, you notice that Doff has propped his spear up between your legs and is kind of motioning it out. So if anything comes at you. He's going to be in good stabbing spot. Keep, oh. keep it low, Doff. <laughs> like this? <laughs> Lower. <laughs> like this? <laughs> Back spike. Oh. Uh, so he's got low. one hand on your shoulder. So and he's, if he's I roll low. a one, Doff's the only one I can hit besides me. If you roll a one in this spot, you lose your weapon. Yeah. Which or one? you're going to kill a ah. gopher. Well, now he's taking a point, so the gopher's behind you now. Yes. So, uh, and and Buckley, not to be outdone by you guys, uh, he's going to take third. All right. And he whips out this cool thing that fits in one hand, and it's got a little string. Okay. He's got a hand crossbow. Got it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Out come Dave's new dice. Slowly you creep, step, step by, by step. step. There's a great big cobweb. It, it, it's real thick and sinewy down here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Spider web, spider web. Hmm. Dave, give me a perception check. Um, 18 plus 1, 19, 20. Oh, sorry. No, with plus 3, I'm proficient. 22 or 21. You scoff at Buckley's opinion and go, these spiders are tiny. Tiny, tiny spiders. spiders. Tiny spiders. You. <laughs> but there's you. lots of spider webs, right? Oh, yeah. This place is full. And I know that Ingve and Rakir don't have dark vision. 
and they're behind you. So when they start throwing shit. <laughs> it's, uh, yep. I got a shield. I'll just put the shield up in front of me and push through. <laughs> <laughs> it would, uh, I just thought it would be better if maybe he may were close to the front and he could just burn his way through. Just hear spiders pop like popcorn. That's true, I, but I, I, he's I, at least fourth in line. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Dave uh, had uh, torch. Dave, well, you want to set something down and light the torch? Uh, I, I mean, if he's got it, I can make a magical flame appear on it. <laughs> Doesn't the magical flame to, not burn things? <laughs> I'm gonna take a big. Well, take it a doesn't big ignite. I don't. I don't know. How does produce flame work, Frank? You're you're the DM. How, what's your role on it? That that will be normal flame, not magical. Okay. I'm gonna take a big whiff of the area to make sure it's not like. Methane. methane or some other natural gas that's going to fucking kill us. Methane is odorless. This brought to you by the Natural Gas Council. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Hey, I'm just, it could not be odorless. Maybe it smells like farts down here. Uh, <laughs> it smells <laughs> like death sulfide. down here. So, Super. Yeah. yeah, we're going to. Yeah, we light a flame. We're going to die. Okay. So, we're good. <laughs> Are you going to light the fire or no? Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Dave, you're doing it? I set my axe down. And I pull out my kit and strike a flame on a torch. Cool. Uh, you light that torch. Pork it forward into the webs. Doff screams immediately, and you feel the the shaft of his spear go up over your junk as a shitload of eyes appear on this fuzzy, hairy creature. It is a giant spider. Awesome. Uh, Doff being ready. <laughs> Oh no, he rolled a one. That's a Stop one. That right. <laughs> uh, hopefully he has not hit the arterial area of you. Close, uh, but no. Uh, you get six divided. You get three hit points in his haste. Ah, oh. He draws back, pokes Buckley in the head, and spears forward, but slices through your britches and your leg. Uh, let's roll initiative, keeping in mind you have a torch in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, God. Two tens. Eight. 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 Oof. Nineteen. Nineteen. Inve uh, and Azari. Twelve for Inve. Uh, 20 for Azari. 12 for Buckley. Uh, Azari, you are somewhere at the back of the pack. You have no idea what's going on, but you just heard Dave scream uh, as well as Doff eke out kind of a childish screech. <laughs> I can't see much or see through that area very well. Nope. Depending okay. on where you are, you're... Let's see, it's Dave, Doff, Buckley, Ingve, and then you are Rakir. Uh, yeah, this sucks. Um, since I can't really move or see anything, I'm just going to start. Uh, there's not really much space in here, so I'm just going to wait it out, see what happens. Well, okay, okay. Uh, I'll take the 19 next. Ah, okay. In that case, I'm going to bonus action. Or actually, sorry, free action, drop the torch. Bonus action, rage, pick up my axe and attack. Uh, first off, D12 against me. Let's see if that torch goes out. Don't care. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Five. Four, the torch stays lit. I'm going to be yeah. past it in a second anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, you rage, and then you grab your axe. Yep. Uh, Doff's going to give it a... Well, Actually, no, Dolph got a 10. Uh, 12, Buckley. Uh, he's going he's gonna to shoot gangsta style. <laughs> this can't go wrong. Uh, it does not go wrong. With a 17, a bolt goes whizzing past your ear and Dolph's head, parting his scraggly hair. Uh, and he gets it in one of the eyes. That's not bad at all. Uh, that's a 12. Uh, got another 12 out there. Ingve. 
Uh, I'm going to (laughs) say, don't be alarmed, but I am going to go into uh, a giant badger form, which is a little smaller than Ingve. So so I'll use my action to wild shape into a giant badger. So Sure. That should go over real well. Well, uh, I mean, at least I can fight. <laughs> uh, the two tens. Uh, Kill the gopher. So, do, do, holy <laughs> shit, there's another one behind me. Ba- badger, um, badger versus gopher. Uh, Doff. <laughs> <laughs> he, he rolled a one. <laughs> ah, oh, all right. You take two hit points this time. Only one. Uh, I'm raging. Uh, and, and he again smashes Buckley in the face. <laughs> oh, <poor> Buckley. <laughs> the, the spider's turn uh, is a 15 plus 318, Dave. Uh, and it's going to be a bite. That, that definitely hits. Uh, one plus one is two, raging one. So you take one hit point of damage to this thing, and that brings us to Brock here. Well, I, I have no visibility at anything. Nope, you can't see shit. <clears throat> can't see shit. Okay, I'm going to try to back up um, and... I, I, I really... I don't really have a whole lot of light, do I? Nope. Okay, I'm going to back up from everyone and light another torch. I have a torch. I'll light another to try to have some light in the back. Dramatic backlighting. Uh, As you do that, uh, you immediately ignite hidden cobwebs that Dave didn't get, and you just take a carpet of flame leading all the way down, and then you can see the dip where Doff came out. Uh... And then the ignition is gone, but your torch still illuminates. You do not see anything creeping up behind you. Round two. Uh, who had the 20? I did. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, round two. What do you want to do, Azari? Can I see this spider creature at all through everybody? Nope. It's nope. narrow and Doff is huge. <laughs> and screaming like a bitch. <laughs> You can see Doth uh, back and part of Dave. Got it. Uh, yeah, just gonna keep hanging out, I'm just waiting to see what happens. Cool, Doth, you're up, or Dave, you're up. Ah, good. <laughs> Squish. <laughs> um, does a nineteen hit? Oh yeah, easily. Okay. Um, that's hold on. <clears throat> D eight. This is a Gilligan's Island kind of spider. <laughs> About four feet. Uh, away. Seven plus six, 13. That's pretty good. Uh, after the 19 comes the 12s. Uh, so Ingve and... Oh, the, the even, the, when, even when though, I hit it, I'll go to one knee right up against it, pushing on it with my shield and st- go down to one knee so Doff can get a better shot at it. So yep. now, now instead of standing, you shrunk his area of stabbing. He can shoot over the top of me now. Ingve Luckily can. <laughs> yeah, Ingve can't do anything. He's stuck like a Azari. You know. Buck- Buckley screams in pain, and he's going to have a black eye because he's gotten poked twice. Oh, sixteen! Uh, he puts it behind his back and shoots again. And, uh, <laughs> chucks this thing. Beal, beal. Yeah. That is a Murder Hobo Inc. 6. Uh, this thing is not looking good. That brings us to the 10s. Uh, so whatever Doff can do, the creature will still have a chance. Uh, Doff, Dave, do you shout for him to get it out from between your legs? Yeah. Doff, go over shoulder! <laughs> uh, Doff says... Fuck it, drops the spear and lunges over you, and he's going to punch this thing. There it is. Uh, He goes up and over. He's going to have 1d4 plus one. Four. Holder, holder. Five damage, punches it right in the face, and goes through the eyes, covering his handed goo. Uh, Of course, his jump takes him straight down. The spider 
gives its death throes. Uh, Dave, you are thankful that you didn't get disemboweled this time. Buckley's happy that he doesn't have a second black eye. Uh, Doff pulls back his hand, spraying I-Core across <laughs> you. <laughs> and, and goes, my friend, I am sorry. And he squeezes what? your inner thighs like he's taking a measurement and yells out, medic! <laughs> <laughs> but it's really uncomfortable <laughs> for you. <laughs> Well, that was a wasted wild shape. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and drop the form and, uh, yeah, uh, cast Healing Word by, on Dave and who else was was damaged? <laughs> uh, Buckley, yeah, he's fine. He's okay. like... I'll send a little healing as well, too. <laughs> <laughs> Buckley goes over and retrieves his two hand crossbow bolts, <clears throat> gives it a kiss, uh, looks around and he goes, hey, there's stuff in here. Uh, behind the giant spider was a small alcove. Uh, who wants to go uh, squeeze past Dave and his new friend, Doff? Dave, push us forward <laughs> and get through the alcove so we can actually stand like normal creatures. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll just kind of like grab Doff's feet and start pushing him forward and get on past. <laughs> like a fucking sweeper. Yeah, everybody gets healed for 14 points that you guys you guys walk see. into a crisscross area there is a I feel great alcove to the left and an alcove to the right doff is profusely apologetic to you Dave, <sighs> uh and hands doff, you, the you did all right for. uh he'll pick up his spear uh who wants to squeeze past and look at alcove left or alcove right I'm going to drag the spider's body all the way outside the warren. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take his, I want to just drag it out and, I'll, and I want to look at this thing because I haven't seen one of these things before. I know give what me, a spider is, but I don't know what a big spider is. Give me a D20. Let's make sure you don't pull off its leg that you're dragging. Okay. That's an 18. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you drag it up. Uh, the fragments make it easier to skid. Uh, Ingve is healing Dave and uh, Doff, uh, Azari and Buckley. What do you want to do? There's an alcove to the left and an alcove to the right. I'll check the alcove to the left. Fair enough. Uh, Buckley will go with you. Uh, there are two kind of ledges carved out of the ground here. Uh, they have fully intact skeletons with jewelry on them. Uh, it's the same greenish metal that you found in the urns. More of this copper metal then. <clears throat> Best not to disturb the dead. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take the jewelry or no? Uh no, I see no need Wait. for it. That stuff all belongs to dead people? Yes. You're walking like uh, Audie Murphy in the Westerns right now. I, I'll go up. and after I don't this, mind the I'll, bones, but their they're possessions, nah. I, I, I want to take a good look at what they're wearing. And, 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 a, and a really, really good look to see if, if, if there are any designs or any, anything else like that. Because this is very strange. Well, now you're upstairs with the spider. Yes, yes. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm. After I drag it out, I'm going to go back in and rejoin the rest of the group. Okay. Uh, your investigation of the spider. Give me a medicine check for lack of a better roll. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be a twelve. Uh, you know, some spiders are poisonous. You see the fangs. You see the missing eyes because Dolph's fist went through it. Yeah. Uh, other than that, there is nothing remarkable about this creature other than its size. Just a big, just a big old spider. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's just it's just weird <laughs> looking at. All right. I'll finish and go go into the rest of the. Okay. The, the Azari group. and Buckley ignore the remnants as well as the jewelry. Uh. Which, what do you want to do now, Azari? Check the other alcove. Okay. Ingve, Dave, and Doff, what do you guys want to do? Uh, I'm going to follow Azari, but before I go, I'll take a look at the jewelry just to see if I can recognize any icona 
Yeah. I kind of, I'm pronouncing Iconography? It. Iconography. That's it. See if I recognize anything like that. Namiology. Namiology. <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> uh, Dave, what do you want? Sorry, have a nomia. Symbolism. Oh. <laughs> symbolism. Well, symbolism. Dave, Dave, Dave is a little bit concerned, so he's gonna like pull out his <laughs> amulets from Elon and Ibim and hang them around his neck together. Uh, okay, you know, <laughs> be sure he's got his holy symbols with him because he's a little bit concerned about being too near these dead people's possessions. And um, other than that, just gonna chill, you know, with my shield and axe right over here against the wall. Sure, Rakir, uh, you arrive in the room, and uh, it, this both chambers are about six feet high, so you, you just have to scrunch a little bit. Uh, Rakir, when you arrive at the alcove on the left, uh, you see Doff looking over the bodies, and he's picked up one of the femurs, and he's looking at him because <laughs> he rolled his third natural one for investigation. Oh my gosh! So he's scratching his back with one of the femurs uh but he hadn't stolen anything uh are overall, all the animal are all the bones people bones yeah oh they're 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 humans about five and a half i, feet I snatched that from him i'm just like get that back <laughs> and I, I, I like to put it back <laughs> he doesn't mind uh over on the right azari and buckley uh same thing um they're yeah, all, they're um, laid out exactly the same. So, so there's two little things here, and there's two bodies at each one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they all have this this greenish stuff on them. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna say, guys, just go with me here for a second. I really heard that this stuff makes people do weird things, <laughs> and so I take the necklaces off the bodies and I and I wear them and I say. Do I look any differently? <gasps> does, 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 does anything happen differently? Do you guys, does this make me seem more powerful? I mean, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm totally in the, in, in the dark with this. I mean, like, <laughs> is, this, is there some type of magical power that by having this on, somehow things or other people want to revere me or worship me? Dave's now <laughs> hiding behind Ingve. <laughs> Ingve, I'll let you go first. Uh, well, I don't think that was a good idea, but um, no, it, it really doesn't make you look more important. <laughs> Dolph, Dolph makes you look right. more stupid. <laughs> Dolph looks at you. And this is not his hand, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you look the same to me. <laughs> And he sees Ingve and he puts it back. <laughs> gopher. And I asked the gopher. I said, what about My name you? is Buckley the Brave. <laughs> Buck, Buckley the Buckley Brave. Buckley the Brave. In your, in your lands where you come from, if I had many of these, would this give me more power? The word you're looking for is um, reputation. Okay. It would that. enhance your calm. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I I I take them off and put them there and say, well, that 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 that's that's interesting. I'm 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 that I'm is interesting. More. It, it would it would enhance my 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 calm calm, calm John Spartan. Okay. <laughs> so uh, Azari and Buckley in the other one. Uh, he doesn't know what the clam shells are for. <laughs> <laughs> Azari Buckley is busy, so you are in this alcove alone. Give me a perception check. Uh, Twenty-four. There is a uh, kind of a damaged hallway for lack of a better term there is a an egress from this room uh near the back that was obscured initially uh, okay and your dark vision didn't pick it up but it looks as though it curves 
up and to the left. All right, I will uh, slowly make my way towards that curve just to see what if there's anything around. Uh, again, the crushed uh, DG uh, posts offset every once in a while a skull. Uh, still about two and a half feet wide. Hmm. Dave follows Just the a, sorry. Another, seems like another entrance or exit. I guess I'll follow through. I'll keep going. You and Dave, Buckley is busy trying to figure out why Doff keeps using, why he itches so much. Um, anybody want to follow funny. Azari and Dave? Um, in they will. Rock here. Doff got the itchies from Loki. <laughs> he did it there. <laughs> need, need small comb. <laughs> <laughs> no, those aren't king crab. It's okay. Nope. Rock here wants to make his life homeless. Uh, Rock here. Duff takes the arm with the hand that's kind of frozen. He's like... <laughs> and, and he walks in following Ingve, kind of tucks it into his back belt and wanders on down the path, leaving you alone. So if you want to hijack the copper or jewelry, you can. All may. of them, yeah. All of them. Uh, 82 gold pieces worth. Okay. 82. Yeah. I'm convinced that there's some need for this. I don't know what it is for right now, but but my but my street smarts, you know, I'm I'm not that smart, book smart, but I have pretty good street smarts. Tells me that this has some type of value. I just don't know what it is yet. So I have Azari in the lead, Dave, Ingve, Buckley, Doff, Rakir. Is that how it works? That's about right. right. <clears throat> Zari, you uh, follow the winding tunnel. Give me a perception mm -hmm. check. Uh, 15, 22. Uh, you feel like you're going down because the tunnel is rising. Uh, it's now 6 2. Uh, oh, nice. So you don't have to hunch over, but you also smell what you <clears throat> think is fresh air. Hmm. As you round the corner, uh, you notice a little glimpse of sunlight, uh, okay. a beam coming through the ceiling, and you see a large rock is dislodged and has smashed another giant spider. Oh, nice. I guess that's we'll... fortunate. <laughs> yeah, that works. You keep going. We'll... Okay, you'll, ha you'll have to kind of hump over the gelatinous body because it, it didn't it's happen in a while. It didn't happen a minute ago, so it's kind of googly. Uh, give me a straight up D20 as you kind of put your hand on it to move over. Uh, eight. Uh, it's a little squishy, but you managed to make it over. Dave. How wide is this passageway at this point? Two and a half. I'm but just going to like parkour up over six it. Six plus. Ooh. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll take a performance roll for that one. <laughs> Somebody Performance. You can okay. teabag this thing. <laughs> that's charisma. Uh, that's a 15. Well, yeah. Uh, Spider-Man uh, <coughs> makes it over. Ingve, you're third. Okay. Straight up D20. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 18. Yeah, you make it over. You find a rib or whatever the hell they have. Uh, Buckley... <laughs> Puts his hand right through the carcass. <laughs> <laughs> He's not thrilled at all. Uh, Doff. Doff makes it over this time. And Rock here, you see him take the hand. Good spider. <laughs> that kid uh, passes over Rock here. Go ahead and give me your roll and make sure you don't. What it was it like? Can I try to parkour over with the? Because Dave's my hero. Sure. So, uh, um, Dave's can do acrobatics. Hero. Can, can I do acrobatics? I'll give you acrobatics. All right. That's gonna be a dirty twenty-two. Yeah, sure. You uh, go up and over. Uh, Azari, you're leading this pack, and you notice uh, stale air again. 
and you notice ahead of you using your dark vision, it kind of opens up into a much larger chamber. Mm. Uh, and you That's kind cool. of see rough hewn stones uh, with a staircase leading down. So it kind of, the, the hall kind of curves and goes down into a larger chamber. Right. I'll, oh, continue. Sorry. I'll continue my trek this time <laughs> moving, uh, since we're moving into more of a uh, seems like a well used area or not so much. This area uh, it expands to about six feet wide. Uh, okay. It has a lot of beams in this area, a lot of sigils. Uh, and as you turn the corner and Doff peeks over your shoulder, uh, you see, you aren't really sure what you see. It looks like a large chamber, almost like Gizba's room. Mm -hmm. On the far wall is what appears to be uh, flat stones that have yeah. formed a chair. Atop the chair is a skeleton with fangs just slumped over and it has its hand on what looks like uh, a long sword. Well, I'll, uh, uh. Kind of, I'll have everyone kind of back up like against the wall and I'll have, um, I'll motion for Buckley to come forward. I think this is what I need. Thank you, my friends. I do not need uh. your assistance. I will venture forth. And uh, we... he kind of starts to begin and then <laughs> uh, you guys hear a click and a spear thunk. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's Buckley. Uh, six hit points. Oh. Buckley, Buckley is hurt and slumps to the ground. The spear is embedded into his little chipmunk body. Oh. Uh, he's about five feet out of range. Friends, be careful. There is a problem here. I will. Uh, I have a message for you. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, help now me, search the area for, for traps now. So this seems to uh, yeah. be dumbass out there just decided to go for it. He's never Dave. <laughs> he's never heard the the, the yeah. herald tales of uh Indiana Jones at yeah. this point. So you start to lean down and check for traps, even yeah. though you clearly saw this fucker get impaled. <laughs> so <Well>. oh <laughs> go, go ahead and give me a roll. <laughs> I think that was the only trap. <laughs> well, yeah, just in case there's more. I mean, there can always be more. Wait, what um, kind of sword is this? Looks like a long sword. Uh, big sword, uh, big sword. Not a great sword. Just a d20? Yeah, give me a d20. Uh, uh, yeah, you notice that he stepped on a square stone. And as you start to look around now, because uh, Ingve and I think Rakir both have illumination, you can yeah. see that it is a checkerboard pattern, but all the pieces are the same color. They're slate gray. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, Buckley is in a certain amount of pain. Everybody roll perception check. Okay. Nine. Uh, Twelve. I will help him when I can get to it. Nineteen. Uh, Dave, Azari. You hear bone on bone. And that fanged skeleton thingy uh -huh. is getting up. Oh crap. Oh yeah. Um just the the skull on this thing is human. it a human it's it's a human. Okay. Human with fangs. I was just wondering if it might have been feline like Azari or nope. something. Okay. Uh I will um immediately pull my bow and aim down at the creature. Sure. That's, uh, that's standing up. A arrows <laughs> are real good against skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fight skeletons all the time. Uh, this is probably okay. the first animated skeleton you guys have ever seen, too. So. Yeah. Yep. So we're kind of like, ah! <laughs> Whoa! 
Um, I will bonus action hunter's market, and then I will fire an arrow at it. Ching, ching, ching. Buckley's dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, that's natural 19. 24 to hit. Easily. Okay. Uh, five, nine, 12 points of piercing damage to the creature. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, and Dave. How far away from me is it? It's about 30 feet and it's eyeball and Buckley. Eyeball and Buckley. I'm, I'm certain I have no idea about its weaknesses and things like that. So, um, I'm gonna be Dave and uh, at least step forward to where Buckley is and step between Buckley and it. I will remind Dave before he steps out to be wary of traps. I'm going exactly where Buckley went. Okay. Uh, but you step in front of Buckley? One step beyond him. One step beyond. Uh, does a 16 hit you? Nope. Okay, uh, a spear flies underneath your chin as you've activated row two. Uh, I have that danger sense anyway, you know. And you have now, the creature has closed uh, distance. Everybody roll initiative now. I'm AC 17 with my shield, Frank. Sure. That 20, baby. <laughs> I'm going to kill something. That's a tie. Uh, uh, 15 for Ingram. 22 for me with adjustment. <clears throat> 17 for me. Yeah, 20 also. 20 again for Azari. Dirty 20 or real 20? Dirty 20. Gotcha. Uh, Dave? We tied. It's you and me, baby. Damn the straight. So go ahead. Uh, I, I will let you go first. My dex might be higher than his. <laughs> um, 16. Actually, no, he should go first. But anyway, you said I could go first. I'll, I'll um, let you go first. Because you aren't going to kill him. That, that, no, that much is no. Just... I'm only using a battle axe. Uh, does a 25 hit? Easily. Then that 6 plus 6 is 12 points of slashing damage. Fair enough. Uh, odd you, even Buckley, first attack. 6, Buckley. Second attack to Buckley. Uh, oh, crap. He's going to die. Yeah, he's fucked. Uh, oh. He's going to use the claws on the first one uh, and the longsword on the second. 20 dirty. Three plus five misses with the long sword. Uh, hey. He's going to do D6 plus three. Ooh, Buckley ain't looking so hot. Uh, a dirty 20. Azari. Uh, I'm going to drop my bow and pull both my short swords out and close the distance <laughs> up to the creature. Mm -hmm. um, and I Are you going attack. to try and flank him? Yes, if I can. The spear comes out for area three. Okay. Uh, 14 plus 317. That's. Uh, you get a spear in the ass. Yay. Or Meow. hit points. Uh, but you have flanked him. Okay. So what does that give me? Uh, I'll, give you plus, I'll give you plus two on it. Plus you... two hit? Okay. So I'm going to hit. I'm going to swing with my regular uh, attack and then bonus action with my offhand attack. Sure. Um, that's a 27 to hit. Yep. Okay. First attack does eight, nine points of damage. Uh, what and kind slash of slashing or piercing? Uh, slashing with a short sword or piercing. Okay. No, yeah, short sword's piercing. Okay, that was nine? Yeah. Got it. Um, and then second attack is a 19 to hit. Yep, that hits. Okay, and then I do another 11 points of piercing damage. Uh, everybody using piercing damage uh, so far notices eh, not real effective. Uh, 17, Rakir. Oh, 
Do I have any space to attack melee, or are we so confined I can't do it? You can try and sandwich yourself in between Dave and Azari, or you could come up behind the creature. You're going to hit at least one uh, pressure plate, uh, if you've noticed at all. Uh, But you can kind of wedge yourself in. I will try to come up from behind the creature because what I want to do, I don't think I'm going to be, I mean, logically I wouldn't be able to do what I want to be able to do because I'm going to try to hit and then do flurry of blows and have two bonus hacks, but I want to use my quarter staff as a two handed weapon. So it's going to be both hands and I'll have to do a roundhouse kick roundhouse kick. And that's going to take up some space. I only think I can do that if I'm behind him. All so right. I'll go ahead and get behind him. Yeah. Get behind him. A uh, 10, I'm guessing this is... No, no, that'll miss me. A 10 again. Uh, uh, yeah. Both spears miss. You are behind him. I'll give you one attack uh, since you used movement to... Yeah, 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 to get around. I okay. see him shoveling that shit. That is going to be a 16. Yep, that is. All right, that's a 1d8. That's a eight hit points of bludgeoning damage. Seems to have full effect on him. Uh, Ingve, you're up. Okay. I am going to uh, bonus action summon uh, a healing totem. Okay. Uh, again, boing, pulses, everybody, two hit points. And I'm going to triage Buckley. <laughs> does, this, does this include the skeleton? Uh, let me check on that. It's allies. It's allies, yes. Okay. It's allies. Okay. Uh, everybody hears a roar behind you as Duff is just going to try and tackle this fucker. <laughs> uh, with a 16 on the die roll, he collides with the skeleton, nice. knocks, it, knocks it backwards. First off, uh, into Rakir. One to three into Rakir, four to six into the wall. Four into the wall. Nice. And he does. Stop pulling his weight. Uh, he only does three hit points of damage to it, though, but it is bludgeoning. Uh, and it does not knock Rock here off his feet, so Rock here oh. is golden. We start at the top of the order with the two nat 20s. Dave, go ahead. Even though um, you're going, I will. So, I mean, I've noticed two people hit it with bludgeoning damage, and it was really effective so far, correct? Correct. So I'll let my axe fall by its lanyard and I will move forward and punch this motherfucker in the face. Okay. Uh, um, that's a 17 to hit. Sure. Well, actually, wait, that's uh, 16 to hit. Um, Still hits. And it does four plus four is eight bludgeoning damage. Nicely done. Uh, it is going to bite Dolph. 15 plus 5, Dolph gets <laughs> bit. <laughs> uh, oh. And it does. Oh, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Dolph's going to be hurt. <laughs> mm, terrible. Doff is really hurt because Doff takes all but one point maximum damage. Oh, uh, Doff screams in pain and rolls off the body because <laughs> he took 19 hit points. Jeez. Damn. Damn. Uh, screaming in pain. That brings us to the dirty 20. Uh, Azari. Okay. Um, all right. I will... Uh... I wonder if slashing will do any better. Um, I will switch to my... I will drop one of my short swords and rake at it with my claws to see if that does more sure. damage than my own. Uh, 22 to hit? Yep. Okay. Uh, for 10, 13 points of slashing damage. Yikes. Okay. Does that seem to do more than my piercing weapons have been doing? It does indeed. I will. Then I will uh, drop my other short sword and Attack him with my offhand claw. Okay. That's a uh, 18 to hit. That hits. 
Okay, for uh, 10 points of slashing damage. Ouch. Wow. Uh, Rakir, uh, in your absence, Doth launched himself up and over, tackled the creature into the wall, missing you, but in the process, opened himself up to a very punishing fanged bite attack into the neck. It is now your turn. All right. Uh, is the creature on the ground or is it still up? Uh, the creature is on the ground, biting into Dolph. Okay. I will. I'm gonna um, as my action. I'm gonna swing my uh, quarter staff with both with both hands um, to try Are to get the eight. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm aiming. Uh, I'm aiming at the. Uh, weird skeleton creature but i will as a bonus action i'm going to expend a kai point and do flurry of blows for two unarmed strikes cool. okay right, so, so do do your uh quarter staff do my quarter staff all right that's 17 plus five is a dirty 22 easily and that's gonna be 1d8 plus three that's uh, one uh it's four hit points bludgeoning damage and then the two um, unarmed strikes. Mm -hmm. That's a three. That is not going to do anything. And a and it's actually going to do something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a three does. Yeah, I know that was. Um, <clears throat> it's not good. Um, that's an. That's a fourteen. Uh, fourteen does hit. Fourteen so. hits. What that happens that. is the quarter staff crushes it. Uh, the head tips back as the body goes limp. Uh, with one hand, you punch through the skull and now have it on your hand. Oh, hey, guys, I think I killed it. Uh, with your other, you shatter the rib cage, uh, spraying uh, both uh, Buckley and Doff, who is writhing in pain and has two bite marks in his neck. Uh, on the ground. The creature, all the bones just crumble, fall to the ground. You have been victorious with Rakir taking uh, the punishing death blow. Uh, hey. Doff is hurt and screaming. Buckley uh, looks kind of weak, uh, but the totem is healing two hit points per round. Uh, do you guys want to focus on your two wounded people or do you want to focus on the room? Um, I tell them to focus on the room, room and I'll focus on, on, on our hurt people and I'll I've already healed. tend to, to doff right away. Okay. Dave, Rakir, Azari, you notice two more rows of flagstones to get to the throne. But I mean, there doesn't appear to be anything other than this weird plated seat. You're muted, You're muted. sorry. And it looked really good, too. <laughs> it's great. It looks so uh, how cool. Far the, how far from the flagstones to the, um, uh, from we are to the, to the seat, sorry. To the? To the throne seat that he was sitting on. Uh, each flagstone roll is five feet. So Be 10 it. feet away. If you want to Got make it. a leap. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and make a leap. Oh, this will be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the jump. Oh, God, jump speed. Let's see how far I can. What do I need to roll for this? Acrobatics. Acrobatics. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, 15. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Uh, you leap, but teeter back a little bit, catch yourself, and you were on kind of a raised portion. Uh, okay. Odd even. Uh, you landed on the left side of the throne. Uh, Dave and Rakir, you have seen your associate uh, make the leap of faith, uh, did not trigger any potential traps. Uh, what do you want to do? What I, what I want to do is push Doff over the two things, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 
hey, hey, Doc, you can <laughs> you can help us out one last time here. <laughs> Fucker's gonna turn into a vampire for God's sake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I'll also uh, I'll try to land on the other side. I have uh, proficiency in acrobatics, so I'll uh, I'll try sure. uh, to do the same type of thing. I'm supposed to be a martial artist, you know. Sure. That one. So thirteen. One. Uh, thir- <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, thirteen plus five. That's an eighteen. Sure, you land on the right side. Okay. Dave, you want to just tackle the throne? <laughs> yep. <laughs> if they can do it, Dave can do it. Here's where Dave gets a pincushion effect. <laughs> That's not incredibly great. 15 plus 217. Uh, not only do you hit the throne, you smash it. So think of this <laughs> as, as, as built like a tombstones, out of tombstones. So you shatter the slate, uh, but the seat was a box. Oh. And inside is a wooden box and the the wooden box is in great shape it looks like it's walnut look what dave find good job dave uh sprained ankle <laughs> <laughs> all right dave uh I'll look around the throne through to see if there's anything else around it just uh, box various skulls uh things of that nature uh that uh, box does it open i'm sure it probably opens you want I to mean, open it? <laughs> try. Sure. And it's lid. Uh, you open it up. It is not locked. It is not trapped. Uh, inside is more of that stupid green shit. Oh. Hey, Rakir, money's for you. And I dump that out. And then I take the <laughs> box and I put my little wooden animal and my little flint scraping and wood carving tools into it and close the box up and put it in my bag. Inside uh, the dumping point is a, a green amulet with a pale blue stone. Uh, Ingve Buckley tells you, I need the necklace. Okay, I, I call attention and hold up a second, guys. Buckley needs that necklace. What do you need it for? I think that might help him with his curse. He is really looking bad. Yeah, he doesn't want to be a hamster no more. I mean, uh, look, you have monies. All right. I keep the super powerful green things because Mm -hmm. I'm starting to kind of like them. Okay. And and maybe, you know, you can get the amulet bit. That 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 sounds fair, right? Does that sound fair to everyone? Yeah. He doesn't want the eighty five copper. We well, came have here all to my give, monies. We came here so to has, give him the amulet to save him from yeah, his curse. Yeah. 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 Okay. But I really kind of like that hand crossbow too. But okay. <laughs> kind of well, maybe when we reach the next okay. town, you can start to acquire yeah. more of these trinkets. Maybe. Maybe these things are good. Okay. Yeah. So I I um take the amulet and I'll throw it at. Uh, at, uh... Hit him. Dexterity is your modifier. Yeah, that's a eight plus um, dex is three, so that's that's an eleven. Uh, Ingve can catch it, pluck it out of thin air. Do you want to put it on him? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll think I'll have the foresight to do that. <laughs> I mean, the insight to do that. I'm watching. You put it on. He grimaces in pain and. He starts to change into something that looks vaguely human, but more gauntish. And he he just gives this deathly scream, and his body dissolves. Oh, well, shit. And he disappears. <laughs> wow. Oh. Okay, guys, don't put that on. <laughs> So, oh, it, it's gone too. So it seems. Oh, this was the amulet own. and him are gone. They made a guy go away. The the amulet and uh, Buckley are gone. His hand crossbow is still sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems it was his way to meet a untimely end because of his 
foolishness. Now, when you say they dissolve, I mean, is there any trace of them at all left or just... Nope, and you will never, ever, ever forget his face. Yeah. Hmm. So, the answer uh, face or the gaunt face? Both, probably. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay. And um, And haunted by that. And and Doff's neck injury is not healing. Okay. Um, It's probably evil spirits. It's always uh, evil spirits. Inve cast detect po- poison or disease. The, do I get any reading off of it? Off of his, you would you wouldn't garner necrotic as either one of those. Oh, okay. Wow. Let's let's make our way out. There seems to be a uh, near the spot where the spider was killed. There seemed to be a some of a hole in the ground. We could probably break our way back through to the surface from there, or take a stone to the face. Like or take a stone to the face. I like that one. Be better the, to die uh, quickly. The long sword is still present as well. The long sword, the hand crossbow, two bolts. Uh, the eighty-five copper have already been taken by Rakir. Uh, the amulet and Buckley, the brave, are gone. Definitely I mean, the hand nice crossbow. Box. Yeah, the hand crossbow. I would, I would like. That's. I think that's actually a monk weapon. That's. That's something that monks are supposed to use. I, I could be wrong just with don't that. Don't break the bolts. Yeah, I know. Those are the only two things I have, right? Um, Correct. No idea what those things are. Um, as, all right. As, as are you want to lead him back to the hole in the ground where the spider bought it? Yeah, sure. Uh, Make sure someone grabs the sword on the way out as well. It could be yeah. useful for. Barter or trade later. Yeah, uh, I granted. Uh, after I could grab the sword and stick it in my jumble of weapons in the morning, I could take a Tied look into at the that. javelin bucket. <laughs> in the morning, I can take a look at that and inspect it a little better, hinting that I'll be able to detect magic on it. Sure. So, cast right. Dolph is going to continue to scratch himself with the skeletal hand. Uh, I will slap the skeletal hand out of Doth's hand. Doth's hand. Your disrespect of the dead is noted, Doth. <laughs> uh, who wants to climb up out of the hole first? Dave. Um, and straight up D20. 15. He's out. Who's next? Doth will go. Uh-huh. Doff will let Azari go. Is he is he well enough to do that? No. Doff to make his way out. Yeah, with a twelve, he makes it out. Mm-hmm. Who's ne- who's yeah. next? I'll go next. Okay. Um, Fifteen. Yep. Next. Uh, I'll go if I can. Okay. Sure. It's um thirteen plus Dex is sixteen. Easily. Ingve, give me perception check. Uh, okay. Uh, perception is uh, 16. Something's coming down the tunnel. Oh, shit. And you, better make, you better make that first jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Whew. All right. 20. <laughs> Uh, you feel something brush across your boot. Uh, look back down in the hole. Whatever it was is gone. Uh, you guys are back on top. Uh, it's afternoon. You've lost a little bit of time and garnered yourself some coin, but maybe garnered yourself a bigger mystery than you had. Uh, yeah. So we will no. stop it at this point. Azari, uh, a.k.a. Jesse, what would you think? It was good. I uh, I was a little sad to see the uh, Buckley the Brave uh, go, you know, full Raiders of the Lost Ark on us, but probably never see him again ever. Yeah, probably sure, never. Frank. Probably, probably never, never ever. <laughs> yeah, he was a meaningless the NPC. Of, yeah. The ghost of me up, also. Scotty. <laughs> uh, Rakir, aka Scott, would think. 
I loved it. And, and I like the idea of um, Rakir wondering what all these uh, new coins and such are about. You know, that's uh, it's really interesting. But 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 I, I think he's he's really going to like these things, you know, because and, obviously there's something to them. He just doesn't know what it is. So and people um, are going to like you, damn it. And people are going to like me. That's right. Good people enough. are going to like me because I'm going to get a lot of these things. Knock on it. Everybody's going to like me. I hear, I hear in certain lands, <laughs> yeah. uh, the ladies and some of the guys tend to really like those necklaces, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> especially during a certain time of year. <laughs> uh, Ingve, a.k.a. David, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. I, I really did. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering if we're going to have a vampire in the group now. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm sure probably... He's fine. <laughs> He's probably fine. Uh, He's fine. He's hey, fine. Hey, hey, Rob, fine. what'd you think? <laughs> He's probably only going to be a zombie. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah, it probably really wasn't gonna... even a full vampire. But right. given the crown on his head, who knows? We're, Dolph's we're going to turn into a lich. That's all. Sure. Dolph will become powerful. More powerful <laughs> than you can imagine. He will summon <laughs> Buckley as his servant. Uh, <laughs> Dave folks, will smash Dolph's head. <laughs> folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. The Calamity Edition. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our crap, I'm sorry, Carol. Great stuff. Uh, if you want to buy any of that, the link's up there somewhere. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice that really put the screws to Doff and Buckley. And then, of course, uh, Adventure Sense by OddFishGames.com, as well as their Shine system to help you write. Uh, tomorrow, we have the Margu campaign, the tri-generational group. They have been geezed, gazed, gauzed, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I am railroading the shit out of them into some ruins. Uh <laughs> Most importantly, if you want to join us on a one-shot next Saturday or on the talk show on Tuesday, mhobo Inc., uh, Gmail or Twitter, hit us up. Let us know we will get you on there. For all of us here at the Calamity Campaign and Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us and have a great rest of the weekend. Bye. <laughs>